good evening YouTube and um, yes it is bloody cold tonight it's actually been snowing and it was snowing a little bit when I came out there so hopefully I won't end up uh, getting stuck in here and uh, having to spend the night but if I do have to I have a very nice dram of something to keep me warm now i did miss the last friday of this month for the cigar and whiskey pairing um if i'm being honest um i totally totally didn't realize that last week was the last friday um I got sidetracked and it wasn't until monday um when i was at work sorting paperwork out and I was I kept writing the date down I thought shit <laughs> last Friday was last week so yeah so anyway I've actually been on holiday today tomorrow and I don't work Friday so I'm a nice long weekend off so I thought well tonight Wednesday night I will do it so I don't know if you can see me breath but no you can't it's cold now, a cigar of choice is a totally new one to me. I've never, never had one before. Um, and actually, the band reminded me a little bit of the Camacho, and I thought, okay, looks interesting. And when I read up about it, oh, I've got some notes somewhere. Um, it actually sounded really nice so I got the Creda Nicaraguan now there's three different styles you've got your blue band um, a red band and a yellow band so again sort of similarities to um, the Camacho it's a Robusto Mm, smells lovely. Mm. Smells like a rabbit cage, you know that sort of earthy, straw hair barely smell. Mm, very nice. Now, because obviously I, I'm down a phone, I kind of have a quick googly to look into it. So I did write down some notes. So this is a ring gauge fifty. The size is 124 millimeters, so I'm reckoning about what four and a half, five inches. Uh, smoke time coming in about 30, 45 minutes. Strength is medium to strong. Now the make is Nicaraguan binder, Sumatra wrapper, Nicaraguan, and filler is also Nicaraguan. So yeah. Nicaraguan. So there we go. So that's the cigar. Now the whiskey is a one that I've had sort of in the cellar if you like for a number of years now and um, it sort of got kept getting shoved to the back every time I got a new bottle for birthday Christmas etc. So I was having a, a bit of a dig through there earlier on. I thought, well, you know what? I think it's about time I got this popped and tried. Now it is the Highland Park. But this, they obviously bring out little additions and what have you. So this one is the Dragon Legend. Now, Highland Park is up there as, as one of my favorites. I really do like these um, these whiskies, but I've not had this one. Um, having a little read on the back, it says that it's got an intense aromatic smokiness to it, and it's been um, melded with hints of warm spiced fruit cake, which they say is coming from the fact that it's been matured in a sherry oak cask so sounds interesting i think because the evening being what it is 
I certainly need something rather strong and potent and something that will certainly warm me up and since I'm not going to be having some Latakia pipe tobacco I thought right I'm going with the smokiness of the peat in the whiskey so here we go if I can get the top open oh. Without dropping the bottle or slicing my finger open on these stupid tops. Oh, that's not one to come off. Oh, there we go. Highland Park's one of those whiskies that when I take the top of it I really do keep going um, because I really do enjoy this brand oh yeah I can smell the sherry straight away oh oh yeah not your normal Highland Park, I will give it that. Mm. The smokiness of the peat, it is there, but it's very subtle. I think that the sherry's overtaken it a bit too much, I think. Mm, yeah, I think for me, I would have preferred more of the peatiness, but it seems to come across more of the sherry aroma we'll see what's like in the taste a lovely warm color mm. yeah that sherry's definitely coming through that very very Christmassy don't mind the odd tipple of sherry at Christmas time I'm not sure about it being in a whiskey but here goes mm. <coughs> oh wow oh wow yeah, okay. That's very misleading. God, Jesus, that's fiery as fuck. Pardon my language. Oh, I was not expecting that. Okay, that caught us off guard. Oh. Yep, yeah, it is like a Christmas cake on that aftertaste. Oh, my word, this is nice. And I've just had a sip. That's got a kick. And I'll tell you what, on a night like this, that is just going down wonderful. I can feel it going right down inside. I mean, I do like to drink neat whiskey. I do think this could probably do with a splash of water. I would maybe even desecrate it and put an ice cube in there certainly wouldn't put a mixer in that it would, it would just be total sacrilege that but uh, water or ice cubes definitely oh it does smell nice and it tastes nice mm. Certainly after that first sort of sip, 
the seat, the seat when you have your first paint of Guinness. The first paint of Guinness is always horrendous, but after that, silky smooth. It's the same with that. Once you get that first actual swallow down and try not to cough your guts up, oh, that's nice. Mm. Really nice. Well, let's just hope that it goes well. We have as much luck with this cigar because. Like I say, the last couple of cigars I've had have been a bit hitty missy there, especially where these purges have been concerned. So I'm I'm hoping that we're going to be okay with this one. Oh, that does smell nice. Mm. It's not too overpowering. It's not like a Maduro where it's very heavy. It's a lovely colour. Really nice dark chocolate look to it there. So the dry draws light. Not a bad draw. Not the best I've had, it's got a little bit of obstruction in there, but it's doable. Let's just hope that uh, the light there doesn't light up the fumes coming from this whiskey. Oh, that's really warmed us up, I must admit. <sighs> Put a little chamfer on the end there so that the edges are all all the same. I just put like a little chamfer around the edge of the wrapper there. Here goes. Very earthy on the retro hill and certainly on the aftertaste. I know some people sort of say, oh, they get that leather, you know, that type of. I just think it's kind of earthy. Not too bitter, just a nice little tingle there. Not bad. A little, little chemical hint at the end there. Can't quite put my finger on it. It's not like acidic. It's like almost like a, a weird, a weird aftertaste. room notes nice it's 
It's almost like wafting an incense stick. Mm, that does smell nice. Not bad. Mm. Slight acidic taste on the tongue, but I don't think it's coming across as sort of a, an ammonia acidic. I'm going to give it a little quick purge, but I don't, well, I hopefully don't expect a lot to come out of it. Straight away, difference there so from doing that purge. That little chemically acidic taste I had at the beginning there, in the first few puffs. I'm not getting that now, so that seems to have taken care of that. getting that almondy taste now it's a lot more creamy on the retro here mm. not bad and thankfully it's going nice with a rather smoky Highland Park I wouldn't say this is nice as the regular Highland Park you can get. Again, it's one of these gimmicky ones where it's like, you know, like Madeira cask, sherry cask, etc. You never know really where you're going to go with those whiskies. Um, again, I got it really to try, um, but. It's nice, but it's not a one that I would grab this before the original, if that makes sense. It's certainly nice. It's certainly warming us up. It's got a little bit of a... A weird aftertaste. But it's going okay with this cigar.
it's weird because it's almost got a pencil shavings sort of retro hail you know that like sort of lead smell that you get from pencils You know what? This is reminding me of a spiced rum. I think it's probably because it's got that sort of spicy Christmasy cake taste to it. I think that's why it's tasting a bit weird because I know it's a whiskey but your brain's sort of saying hang on that's not the whiskey I know. Don't get us wrong it's nice it's got a lovely flavour it's just weird. There you go, that's about as technical as it's going to get. There we are. not a bad burn obviously it's not spirit level straight but it's not bad it's holding up there so what i will do i'll pause and then i'll come back when we're a bit further in i'll see you then Welcome back. Well, I'm about a quarter of the way through now. I'm going to roll this ash off before it decides to drop in my lap. Now, <clears throat> I found the drawer was getting on my nerves a little bit um, I felt I, I was really like taking a lot of effort to draw on this cigar so I've sort of took my pipe tool and just sort of stuck it up the cigar's ass and got a bit better of a a draw hole I know obviously you can get these nubbers and picks and what have you I've just used my pipe tool Again, if you're going to do something like that, be very careful. Make sure that you get dead center and take your time because if you don't get that central, you know, you can end up coming out the side of your cigar. I have done it in the past and ruined a good cigar. So it's one of those things, you know, have a good eye, be very careful. And, uh, you know, you're not, you're not loading an artillery shell. Just take your time there and, and ease it in there. I know it sounds almost sexual, but you know what I'm getting at. And it's certainly improved the draw on the cigar. I 
I'm certainly getting hints of chocolate now. Very heavy on the chocolate, actually. I would say this is probably one of the most chocolatey cigars that I've had. I know a lot of people in the past when I've watched reviews are like, oh, I'm getting hints of chocolate. It's like, my ass, you're not getting chocolate bollocks. But yeah, I'm getting chocolate from this. I've had the little, little tiniest hints in other cigars, but this for me, it's very heavy on that. Like sort of cocoa taste. And now, because I can get a better draw on the cigar, I'm getting that nice nutty taste, what I love. You know, again, people probably refer to it as black chocolate or um, leather, etc. For me, it's always that nice walnutty taste. watched um, an interesting documentary watched half of it last night the rest of it today um, about Cary Grant it's called Archie if you've got uh, ITVX the whole series is on there and it really goes into the life of Archie Leach who was of course the famous film star Cary Grant and you know he, he did have quite a traumatic childhood but watching the show it was interesting to see um, his father smoking a pipe and I think what was what was more like the laugh out loud moment was when he went to stay with his paternal grandmother and his grandmother sat there in a rocking chair and she's chewing away on a meerschaum pipe and it's black as coal you know it's like oh my god so it was just so it was just so funny to actually see that but um, yeah, watch it. It was it was quite a good, quite a good show actually. Certainly showed him as a, a very troubled man. And it's, it's funny because we were sort of having a discussion about it. I said it's strange that you know these people have all the money, they have all the fame, and yet they just have that that one thing they don't have is the happiness, you know really strange As this is getting into the halfway mark, it's certainly getting meatier in terms of the flavours. I know it came in as medium to strong, so I would definitely say it started out as medium, and now it's just sort of kicking up a level. Which I think is a good way to enjoy a cigar, because... I do find that sometimes if you go into a really meaty, strong tasting cigar right from the go, by the time you can get halfway down, or certainly if it's a Churchill size cigar, you can start getting a little bit fed up of it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do like Maduro and strong tasting cigars, but I do think it's nice when it starts off quite mild. And then it, as it inches its way up, it starts getting more peppery, more flavourful, and you're ready for it. Certainly a, a stepping stone cigar for somebody who is looking to sort of up from the mildest to the stronger 
side of cigars because again like I say it's not too mild where it's just puffing on air and it gets a bit bland after halfway and you get a bit fed up of it but like I say it's not totally straight into rocket fuel really nice build up actually mm. very nice is this a contender for a Camacho? Mm -hmm. uh, might be interesting to get the red band one of these to try because I do like the is it the Corojo Corojo the red band um, Camacho and I certainly love the blue band Ecuador Camacho so I don't know if it's a a contender to race against that cigar but I've got to say it's for its price that's pretty damn good if you're sort of watching the pennies which these days a lot of people are it's a good it's a good uh, substitute I must admit I'm really enjoying it I'm really enjoying it again you know I'm not getting no terrible acidic taste a purge at the beginning was pretty pretty mild pretty light there was no you know North Sea oil rig blasting and scorching the ceiling not bad at all It's certainly been one of the better cigars I've had of late. I mean, it's still burning very nice. I know they gave this as a sort of 30 to 45 minute smoke, but I, even with the break that I've had, I know I, I'll take into account that the draw wasn't, you know, very easy right from the start. I'll probably give this longer than 45 minutes. Definitely. Again, it's if you get one that's got a per, you know an absolute piss easy draw, you probably will burn through it in that time. But um, yeah, not bad at all. Even though it's freezing cold, I've got the fire on. I'm sat here. It's very nice. And the room note's really kicking in now as well. Very nice. Quite nice to a cigar smoker. I don't think I can get away with it in the house. And I must admit, it's going very well with this whiskey. Mm. Mm. Just what you need on a nice cold winter's evening. might try another purge not sure if the little aftertaste I'm getting is from the whiskey or if it's from the cigar we'll give it the benefit of the doubt I think it will have a flame there but we'll give it a try
there was a bit of a one there I'm probably out of gas so I'm not going to go at it too much like I say it's not it's nothing to get sort of really antsy about and it's not spoiling the it's not smiling the smoke I say it's just very subtle When I had a quick look online, I didn't find any UK suppliers that have these. You're probably looking at about $144 and about $11 a stick. So I think they come in a box of 20s. Um, so I suppose if you, if you look around, see if you can get some deals on it. Again, you guys in the States are so lucky where cigars are concerned. I certainly think it's a stick that you could sit and enjoy with friends. And again, because they are cheaper than the Camacho then it's probably a cigar that you wouldn't mind handing out at a, a whiskey be it even barbecue what have you good construction it's very firm maybe a little bit on the dry side but um I haven't had these very long, so I've not had a good chance to humidor them. But um, yeah, it's again. There's no real horrible squishy chewy end there. Very nice. Well, what kind of score would I give this? Well, I certainly enjoyed the flavour. And again, like I said, I like the fact that it started off sort of on the mildish side and then it just crept up there. It's certainly getting spicy now as it's getting further towards the end. Value for money, definitely. Um, would I buy these again? absolutely um, I've got a Camacho Ecuador in the humidor which I might smoke over the weekend and have a think would it replace that I don't know but I'll tell you what I've got a funny feeling it'll be a photo finish between these two certainly enjoyed it and again for that sort of price range you kind of go wrong I mean I know you guys in America and um, you can get your Camachos at a, a pretty reasonable price not so much in the UK so price wise it probably wouldn't hurt you too much to spend that little bit extra money and get one of those but I think for the likes of um, us in the UK you know sourcing these types of cigars they aren't easy now but yeah I would definitely give this a good four out of five good four
have certainly piqued my interest to try the other two in the range. going a little bit there but I must admit been a very well behaved cigar well there we have it that is November cigar thank you I got a good one <laughs> I was a little bit worried because again with it with it not being a tried and tested cigar, you kind of think, well, I've had a couple of uh, mediocre ones recently. Am I going to score a hat-trick and have another bad one? But thankfully, I've broke the streak. We've had a good one. We've got a winner. The wrapper's just being a bit naughty there. Well, there we have it. Well, thank you for watching. I hope everybody's starting to get into the Christmas spirit. It was certainly lovely tonight to come out and see the snow falling. Um, even better, knowing that I don't have to get up for work at... Um, quarter to five in the morning and I'm not having to scrape the car and uh, you know freeze me ass off on the way to work and then freeze me ass off in work so hopefully this is just a little quickie and it's over and done with and it's gone by Monday but yeah very nice certainly gets you into the mood when you see a little flurry of snow and the Christmas lights are on and certainly definitely cuddle up weather fire on nice shot of whiskey good smoke so if you're still here thank you for watching as always if you have tried these cigars please let me know what you think of them down below if you've tried the yellow or red band again let us know your thoughts because I'm certainly interested in seeing what those are like and I do have a funny feeling that uh, sometime possibly new year now I'll be uh, dipping my toe and having a try so watch this space so on that note take care have a great weekend and we will see you in December. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.